Good evening, my classy people. Hope everybody had a great work week so far. Tomorrow is Friday, and we're here in the studio. And of course, tip sheets will be available for the Oak, uh, the Oaks Friday coming up on the 5th of May, and of course, the Kentucky Derby. Full car analysis and tip sheets. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com or text me at 732-804-0637. That is the cell number here at the studio, and they're 20 bucks. We have five payment methods, but that's not an issue. If you don't have one of those methods, uh, many people do send us checks and money orders to the office as well. So again, get your orders in, please, early, so I'll know exactly how many people to send them to and like that because we got a lot of videos to do obviously as we move closer to the derby well uh i was looking at the stake races this weekend and they're out at santa anita which you know i mean i'm never excited about covering them but it is a grade two race race number nine is the californian stakes a mile and a for four year olds and up is two hundred thousand of course it's a small field of six and you know some of the players in here and just let me say it right away the number one horse defunded i mean it's his his race to lose he's got the best uh pace numbers in the race and the best speed figures by far he is looked like he's the control and speed of the race outside of the number four horse midnight mammoth who is a cheap claimer but very speedy so he may pester defunded but i think defunded will dispose of him pretty quickly uh for sure and i mean he might just control the race gate to wire he should win the race he's four to five on the morning line on his way to two to five down of course uh, he's a very, very nice horse. Uh, he's trained by Bob Baffert. I'm no big Bob Baffert fan. Everybody knows that. But it doesn't change the fact that Defunded is a very nice horse. This five-year-old has five wins from 15 starts, four seconds, and two-thirds for $1.2 million. By dialed in on the back end by touch goal, right? Very nice. Bobby Baffert's doing the conditioning. And he's got his boy in the yards, Juan Hernandez. This is a very, very fast horse. And he's going to save all the ground breaking from the one hole. So, again, he's 4-5 to five on the morning line. And he's on his way to 2-5. to five. I'm not going to pick him as my top pick here. But he should win the race, okay? I mean, you don't need me to tell you that, right? He has everything his way, okay? A small fill. He's the speed. The best speed numbers the last four or five races. The controlling engine here, other than the pesty four horse, the midnight horse. But uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way. It's it's the funded race to lose for sure. I'm going to be a little cute here. My top pick is going to be Pernelli, the number five horse. Now I'm a sucker. Obviously, everybody knows I have my own speed figure database, and I'm a speed figure guy. But I am a pace guy, right? Um, I know at every split, every quarter, what. Uh, the horses are running, or at least I think I do anyway in terms of it. And when they run even pace numbers all the way around the track, that means they're not slow or early or fast or early. They just run consistently, and these horses show up in the winner's circle quite often. And Pernelli, he fits that bill in here. Now, of course, Defunded has smoked them before back there in November, as well as the number six horse, Royal Ship, has smoked them. But again, from race to race, things change, okay? Now, this horse should see the, the trip uh, behind the number one defunded and the number four midnight um, uh, mammoth who I think should be finished after the half mile pole but the number five Pernelli should sit right behind the two speed horses and maybe he can get the little jump on the rest of the two horses behind him and uh, let's see if he can out finish defunded doesn't look that way but I do love his pace numbers in here you have Victor Espinosa in the arms the horse only has won three races from 17 starts three seconds and five thirds pretty much some kind of a hanger not a chandelier totally but again john sheriff is doing the conditioning and you got the veteran in the yards uh, victor espinoza four to one is not a, a bad price here probably got like an 18 percent win probability with defunded in the race who's about 28 percent so you know i'm gonna go ahead and try to be cute if i play the race and i probably won't but if i had to i would probably look for value and that value would be in the number five pernelli he would be my top pick. My second pick, we talked about defunded, obviously, 
would be him for sure. And my set, uh, third pick would have to be the horse way outside Royal Ship. Again, here's a seven-year-old with uh, eight wins from uh, 21 starts. Uh, everybody knows him. Uh, making his second race off of a layoff, um, which was a turf race, a grade one race to Frank uh, uh, Carol Stake, Carol Carol Stakes, uh, finished eighth by fifteenth. But turf isn't his game. He's back uh, to the dirt. That was a tightener off of a hundred and fifty day layoff. So they gave him a race. Now he's back to his preferred surface. The number six horse really is the second best horse in here. This really should be a coal exact of one six. You know, maybe Royal Ship can beat Defunded or six one. That's really the way that it should run. Um, but I'll have Royal Ship as my third pick for sure. So, in the California Stakes, reluctantly, I did the race. I'm going to go ahead and lean to the number five, Pernelli, just because of the value and his pace numbers. He is four to one. And uh, defunded is just unbettable, right? He's the likely winner of the race. He's four to five. And like I said, on his way to two to five or one to five. Royal Ship is our third pick. So, for us, it's five, one, six, with the clear, clear understanding that Obviously, it's the funded race to win or lose, for sure. Stay classy, y'all. Remember, tip sheets, Oaks and Derby. Email me, speaking24 at yahoo.com. Have a great weekend coming up. We're going to start diving into some Derby stuff, for sure. Uh, we got a video coming out. Uh, why is it so hard to uh, win the Kentucky Derby? What are some of those reasons? A good, healthy discussion. So I'll probably release that on Friday or Saturday morning for sure. We're going to dive into some other things in the Derby other than the obvious, right? For sure. Stay classy, y'all. Speaking24 at yahoo.com. Let's see if we can get Pernelli to shock defunded.